Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to go into more detail on the five number summary and how to calculate it. Specifically today, I'm just gonna deal with how you would find it by hand. I know that that might not be totally necessary because in today's day and age, we've got computers or we've got calculators that'll do it for us, but I like to be able to see how to do everything. So we're gonna do it by hand. So we have a five number summary and we're gonna be looking at the number of Twitter posts. Now, one of the things that's really important with a five number summary is the data has to be in order. Now, if you're using a computer package, you don't have to worry about putting it in order or entering the data in order. That's what the computer is for, it'll do it for you. However, if you're gonna find it by hand, you need to put the data in order. So here's the same data set, but the data is in order. And this is important because when you talk about values in the five number summary, really you would be describing them as less than, greater than, or in between. And to do that, you really have to have the numbers in order, otherwise those types of comments won't make any sense. So as a reminder, we have five numbers in the five number summary. I know, five numbers. We have a maximum. We had Q3, which remember means the third quartile. We have the median, we have Q1, which is our first quartile, and then we have the minimum. Now the maximum and minimum are very easy and straightforward. The maximum is the largest value, which here you can see is 12, and the minimum is gonna be the smallest value, which is one. Now, the easiest one to find next would be the median. Now the median, remember, is the middle, or the observation that cuts the data in half. And so when you have an odd number of observations, like we have here, we have seven observations, it's gonna be one of those middle observations. So here we have, if we're gonna count in, we have 12 and one, 10 and four, five and eight. And so that means that seven is going to be our middle. So that is the middle observation. Now it could be the case that you had an extra number of observations or an even number of observations. And if that's the case, let's say we added 13, then your middle would actually be two numbers and you would take the average. So there it would be seven and a half because you would add the middle two observations and divide by two. But if you have an odd number of observations like we do here, we're going to just take the middle observation. Okay. So now, when we find Q3 and Q1, we're gonna use a similar method to what we did for finding the median, but we're going to instead have for Q3, it's gonna be the median of the top half of the data. So here, we're gonna take the top half of the data, and it's gonna be the middle observation or the median for that. So here, our Q3 is going to be 10. And then we'll use the same logic for Q1. It's the median of the bottom half of the data. So here we have, this is our bottom half because we cut it at seven. And so our middle observation here would be four. So that's how you would find it by hand. One thing that's important to note is actually there are different ways to find median in Q3 and Q1, and different computing packages might use a different method. What I showed you here is not universal. I know that's kind of frustrating, but nevertheless, this is a way that you can find it by hand, and essentially that's the logic behind it. You have all of your data in order, you cut it down the middle to find the median, and then Q3 is the median of the top half, and Q1 is the median of the bottom half. I just wanna emphasize one more thing before I let you go for the day. Remember that the five number summary has the goal of chunking the data into 25% chunks. So between each of these five numbers, there's 25%. So for this, I could say that 50% of people post between one and seven Twitter posts per day. Or I could say 25% of people post between seven and 10. And that's how you would use that five number summary. Again, why it's important to have it in order. And so in next videos, we will talk about how um, to read output from a computing package and how to identify the five number summary from that. See you then.